welcome back to my channel. My name is Maritza. If you guys are new, be sure to subscribe down below. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers, and I will be doing a giveaway when we hit 2,000, so go ahead and stay tuned for that, you guys. In today's video, you guys can tell I will be answering some of your assumptions or assumptions that you guys have about me. I did ask on Instagram and on Snapchat, I believe, um, for you guys to send me some assumptions that you guys have about me. So I did get a few, um, so I'm just gonna be answering as many as I can. I might not answer all of them, but I am gonna try to answer as many as I can. Um, so assumption number one, you like eating healthy. So honestly, I feel like I do like eating healthy, but I never do just because I feel like it requires so much work only because I'm so used to cooking certain foods and we're just used to eating the things that we are and obviously it's good for you to eat healthy and stuff but I just don't do it as much as I would like to. So yes, you are right. I do like eating healthy. I just don't do it. Um, so another assumption someone had about me is you don't do your own eyebrows. You get them done professionally. I've shown you guys before so that's wrong. I do do my own eyebrows. Um, Actually, this today's a bad example because I haven't even done my eyebrows, but um, I normally thread them and if I don't thread them, I will just pluck them. So no, I do not get them professionally done. So another assumption is you don't like talking in front of a lot of people. So that's true. Um, I think it's hard, like YouTube, you're doing it by yourself and then people can see you. But I feel like if it comes to like talking in front of a crowd or something, I can't do it. For example, like at school when we'd have to do like presentations in front of the class or something, I would do it, like I'll do it, but I do have a hard time. I don't like it. So that assumption is right. I don't like talking in front of a lot of people. So another assumption is I assume that you are a perfectionist. From your makeup to your home, I don't think you have anything you know what i mean you're right i am a perfectionist i always think this way if you're gonna do something you might as well do it right and obviously some people don't agree with that maybe i'm being too much of a perfectionist but um i do enjoy everything that i do from makeup to cleaning my home and everything and everything that i do i always try to do it the best that i possibly can trying to leave it perfect like i remember even in school i was like a perfectionist when it came to like assignments and stuff i tried to make sure that they were like 100% before I even turn them in. So you're right, I am a perfectionist. And yeah. you guys are pretty good at guessing, like uh, assuming things about me. Okay, so another assumption is you're a goody two shoes. I am, I would say, well, a well-behaved person. I mean, obviously I'm like an adult and a mom and stuff, so why wouldn't I be? But you are right, I am pretty much, I guess, a goody two shoes, if that's what you want to call it. Okay, so another assumption was you want another baby maybe when your son is about four or five. Yes, you're right. I do want another baby. I do think that four or five would be a good age, but even now would be fine. Honestly, just whenever God decides to send me another child, then I will be fine with it. But I do want more kids. I've always wanted a big family, so I think I would probably personally want like four or five kids. But my husband says that's too many. He says two is fine. So whatever God decides, obviously. So someone else says, I assume you went to college. Um, no, I've actually never been to college ever before, like in my life. <laughs> Am I even making sense? You can tell I didn't, I didn't go to college. I did graduate um, high school though, like on time and everything. I graduated with a 4.2, but I never went to college. I started working um, and then after that, a few months later, I wanna say almost a year later, or actually a little bit more than a, than a year later, I got married. So I've been married since and I have never been to school. I then had David and I've been a stay-at-home mom since. And now YouTube has become my job. So I didn't ever go to college. Um, so someone else said, said hard, to, hard to make an assumption about a well-known person, but I guess I can come up with one. What I assume is that you are a night owl. You prefer to be up late at night because you are able to get more stuff done when your son sleeps. So for the most part, you are kind of right, but not really, I guess, just because I don't know if 11 or 12 a.m. is that late. I mean, maybe for some people it is, but um, since I personally know you, I know I do go to sleep after you, so maybe that's why you think I'm a night owl. But um, I do know some people that stay up till like 2, 3 a.m. and that's just normal for them. So, um, I do get 
some stuff done late at night but just things like um, like checking my emails um, what else replying to comments sometimes I'm up late doing like YouTube stuff like more social like on my phone things or editing or something like that so uh, I guess that's kind of that's kind of true because I do stay up after David goes to sleep someone else assumed you're super serious I think that if you first when we first meet I could come off as like a serious person but I don't know I'm not normally like super serious I feel like obviously there's certain situations where we have to be serious so when I need to be I am but for the most part I feel like I'm I would say like funny and not as serious as I, I come off maybe but um I think that maybe like in prior videos I was way more serious and now you guys can kind of see more like my real personality so I think that's why this person asked that. But um, another assumption, and I think, yeah, this is the last one that I have, um, is you know little to no Spanish. So actually I was raised speaking only Spanish and I didn't know English until I was about five. So I actually know a lot of Spanish still. Obviously my Spanish is not as good as I would like it to be. Pero si sé mucho español y pienso que mi español es más o menos bueno. See, that's what I mean by I don't know much. I do know a lot, but I'm not as good as I would want my Spanish to be. But anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for making assumptions about me so I can answer this video. Um, if you guys have any other assumptions about me that I didn't answer in today's video, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. And if you guys are new here, be sure to join the YouTube family. We are almost at 2,000 subscribers, so whenever we do hit 2,000, I did want to do a giveaway. So go ahead and subscribe if you guys are new here. And turn on the post notification bell if you guys have not already turned it on so you guys don't miss out on any videos that I post. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.